Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, okay? It's the day after the SAG Awards, and SAG Awards has some surprises, some not so surprises. I'm more surprised about who didn't show up, or sometimes they used to say SAG Awards was the precursor to the Academy Awards. Hmm, they did have some upsets and some things that you didn't see. But the trans on the carpet were black, I know, this is unique, black gowns, some blue, minimal jewelry, and of course, the flu. I know it's been going around. Anyway, we're going to bring old Kem on with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, because they're, that they, they came up with this so-called immigration plan, which is the same immigration plan they've always had, but the Democrats in the Senate agreed because of the fact that they knew it was never going to get done. And it's never going to get approved because Obama wants Obama and the total left of the party want them to have automatic citizenship, and the president already by executive order said that if you live, if you're, if you're a citizen, you can have uh, vouch for your other members. So basically, each one can bring four or five people in the country at one time. So that's 50, 60 million with this immigration plan. Well, the the, the, the committee that agreed agreed that that wasn't going to happen. They're going to have to become citizens. They got. You're going to have to go to school, you're going to have to learn, you're going to have to speak English, you go to the back of the line. They won't go for it. Mm. They want everything to be given to them. Plus, they're going to have to, they're going to get all of the services that they've had been getting taken away from and have to pay for it next. So. In Egypt, anything but peaceful on anniversary of uprising. Oh, yeah, because uh, they have, uh, they now, the army is being called to, to stop the, the riots because Morrissey controls the country. The Muslim, okay, here's a good one, that if you get 67% of the vote but only 30% of the people vote, you didn't really win the election, it's just, you know, but that's what he's using is he has the, uh, like Obama, Obama got 53% of 40% of, of the people voting, <laughs> that means 60% of the people didn't like either him or him. It's not a mandate, folks. And U.S. ADA sets a deadline for Armstrong's full cooperation. Well, then he's not, uh, it's basically the guy is, you know, no one can figure this out. You see, you go to jail for the next 40 years, you have to give people, you got to get sued for maybe a billion dollars, and they couldn't prove anything against him, nothing. They had no proof that he did anything wrong except that he supported Romney. Mm -hmm. So my guess is what happened was, being a typical cowardly, you know, Republican, he decided that, well, I better do all of this before something serious happens because Romney didn't win the presidency. Well, mm -hmm. he's going to go to jail. I mean, uh, if he says nothing, he doesn't go to jail. If he says anything, he goes to jail. That's stupid. Mm -hmm. They're wondering what, what, you know, that one guy said that one of the lawyers, well, this one, tell me, I certainly, he gave the name of the law firm. He said, I wouldn't recommend this law firm to anybody because, you know, if they recommend that you voluntarily go to jail, when you don't have to go to jail, that's not right. Oh, it sounds. <laughs> I, I, I st there is something still so perplexing about that. Oh, no, it it's, just it's, does not make sense. Okay, here was what it was. His cycling career is, is destroyed under Obama, but that's the worst because the grand jury couldn't get enough information to indict him. If the federal grand jury could not indict him, they couldn't find any evidence that he was taking drugs. Why would you want to? I, get to lying to the grand jury, we should put him in jail for four or five years right there. You know, this whole thing just does not make sense. I know. I mean, because remember, it's like he was under pressure because he was not supporting Obama. Yeah. And then they started doing the investigation. I know. And the investigation proved nothing. They couldn't prove a thing, folks. If you can't, uh, you know, if you can't prove it, then, you know, you're stuck. It's just, you know. It, 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 there's, there's something that's there that just does not I make know. sense. I mean, it's phony. And actor Burt Reynolds reportedly in intensive care with flu. I know what he's in. His, I think he's in his late seventies, and he's been looking. Getting, he's been getting older, looking all the time. His weight isn't there anymore, and I think Burt Reynolds is on his way out on his last legs now, mm. unfortunately. And third grader takes a loaded gun to Detroit area school. Yeah, because the probably. <laughs> In Detroit, you probably got lots of guns and backpacks in Detroit school. I would imagine so. And Chicago are two gun capitals of the world. So, and, and what's just funny is that.
the worst gun problems in the United States are in the two areas that have the most strict and restrictive gun control. Yeah, what is the deal with that? Because it, uh, it doesn't work, because as they say, that what, you know, when you take the guns away from the cities, only the criminals will have the guns, and the criminals don't care about the laws you're passing. That's right. They don't get them. And many say that let illegal immigrants stay in the U.S. No, they don't. They, they said that... The, yeah, who are the many? They, the many, basically, they said they're all liberal Democrats and the people that basically... Uh, you're not going to find a whole lot of people that came to this country legally saying, well, these people should be, you know, because they were smarter than we were. They broke the laws. They're criminals. And if you're a criminal, you get to uh, you get more things. Because it just, here's the trick is... You ask you ask a member of the Democratic Party or a Latin to give this country illegal. You know what the word illegal means. <laughs> they won't give you a def. They won't tell you. They, which means they do not know the word illegal. <laughs> Soccer. We must respect Valdi's decision to leave. Fabrega says. Yeah, that nobody you know, respects the decisions. Nobody respects any decisions anymore. There's always something behind like that. And um, the irresponsibly stupid and dangerous camouflage patterns of the U.S. military. What in the world is that? Okay, uh, when is a camouflage not a camouflage when it stands out like a sore thumb? Yeah. I've seen their desert outfits. I can see those desert outfits from uh, 20 miles away there because the desert doesn't look the colors. You wear sand oh. color. You don't wear, you know... Green? Yeah. <laughs> and not my... I mean, weren't they... Okay, the camouflage. You're supposed to wear green in green areas. You wear yeah, sand colors and sand... Yeah, things that look like green and bushy in green areas. Or bushy yeah. Areas, snow colored in snow areas. But in the desert, they wear the same outfits that they would normally wear elsewhere. That does not make sense. Uh, but that's the military. They got somebody in the military bought uniforms. Oh, you know what? They bought too many of one kind of uniform, and by God, they're going to use them. That's right. Right? That's right, because they're not going to get new uniforms under Obama. And they forgot the reason for them being the reason, color they are. That's right. And not my president. Oh, yeah, because uh, they said that Obama is the president of the Democratic Party and the 47%. But he's not the president. They said that... The majority of the people did not support him. He was elected by the minority of people that get the uh, They said that the, the majority of the 47% contribute nothing to the country. Nothing. Mm -hmm. They said, well, they spend money. How they spend money that's given to them. Uh, but according to Nancy Pelosi, the more people that are unemployed, the more mo the better the economy is going to become because the more money that will be in hands of people to spend. And that money stretches out. No, because they spend the money in only certain spots. And none of it, you know, none of it helps the economy grow. Um, Verizon Communications four quarter loss widens. Yeah, because they just, Verizon just keeps losing money, folks. It's just, um, the, you know, Verizon is probably on its way out like Sprint is. Sprint basically, for all practical purposes, collapsed years ago. They, you really don't see many Verizon commercials or many Sprint commercials anymore. Although Verizon is helping to sponsor the Super Bowl, I believe. They're having all these special apps. I know, but the trick is, are they advertising nationally that you can see? Do they have a campaign that anybody can uh -huh. today? Remember Sprint used to have the one guy that was uh, the, the, the backbone of Sprint? He, 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 when he went, the company went with him. And Snowmobiler suffers head injury after cra crash at the Winter X Games. I know. Two brothers, both <clears throat> at the same time, suffered major injuries. Oh. Uh, okay, the President of the United States is basically now pointing a czar to look into uh, the danger of sports. And he's oh, going God. To, you're going to have uh, no me. You're not going to be able to hit quarterback. You're going to be flying football. From, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and basically no base running anymore in baseball. That's right, because playing football could be dangerous. All of them, they're looking into every sport now from the lower levels on up and going to bring a halt to all sports in this country. And actually, the Winter X—I didn't even know the Winter X Games were going on. Yeah. <laughs> and well, there's, there's no coverage of it anymore. And what happens is, ESPN basically locks it up to ESPN, and no one knows it exists anymore. I know that's that's a shame in all of this stuff. Report Pentagon to boost cybersecurity force fivefold. Well, yeah, you know, because they just they got busted in yesterday. Another another government off uh, or uh, department basically got hit by a cyber attack because they could. Oh, they could? Yeah. Aww. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Well, and, and, and that's sort of often people do things just because they can, not because they actually need to. Mm.
It sounds like all those things. <laughs>